Hello. What up, what up, what up, what up? Live? Yeah, we're live, baby. Welcome to Bad Taste. Oh, I am man. Outlandish Zicky Dice. Oh, man. And I have bad news and tattoos, brother. Good and we'll see everybody. It's been a little while. It I has. I left you without a dope beat to step to. I like that. I, I like that. all the time. I refer to leaving. But uh, you did come at the perfect time. I am here at the perfect time. It is Monday. We are live at twitch.tv slash Zicky Dice for our new start time, 7 p.m. Eastern. Trying to do this live every Monday here mm -hmm. at twitch.tv slash Zicky Dice. Until we, we might experiment here soon yeah, we've been yeah. thinking about experimenting we're also doing things on okay, youtube we've got youtube going youtube we've got the shorts i saw one of our videos got four views the other day on the shorts did you see that scooch but, but one of four but one of this them, algorithm on the youtube is shit one of them also got upwards of fifteen thousand. you are right very fast you are very right. very fast that is the no? gamble that is the gamble hey the game the name of the game is constantly giving things to you and doing that's it for the content yep and that's what we're doing we're not going nowhere baby we're here for the we're long we're gonna run. be getting freaky we're gonna be experimenting ourselves here on the show because I've got a few ideas and you're lucky that I've been busy and, and going through some shit. But we'll we'll get into that. But yeah, I'm not really the experimental type of dude. Oh no, no, well, you came to the right place. This is the place to experiment. This is the bad taste show. This okay. is where we experiment okay. and then learn about ourselves and life and different things. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I feel you. Last time is I experimented cool? something. Okay, hey, fuck it. What totally. about the last time you experimented? Tell me. I you questioned a lot of things me. about myself after that. Let's just say that. I don't know if I can experiment with anything for a while. No? No, man. I have been I've been struggling mentally lately. I've been having a rough time, I'm gonna be honest with everybody. Okay. I've stretched myself thin. Yeah. And I've had to take a little step back and I'm doing a little reevaluation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um but every good story has a setback, so it's what I do next. Let me tell you something. It's not a good story without its downs. Right? No, it's no. all. I've never seen a story that just was straight ups. No, I'm I'm thankful. Like yeah. uh, this weekend, I was in. Uh, I went to Oregon for Pal Pro Wrestling. Uh, shout out to Mister Ulala. That's the promoter over there. And believe it or not, this is a real story here. That is uh, his real name, Mister okay. Ulala. He that's his, his shoot name. I've seen his ID card. Okay. Um. So it went and worked for Mister Ulala over that Pal Pro wrestling we wrestled in salem on friday night i wrestled vinny massaro we had a great match shout out to shout vinny. Out vinny yep shout out to vinny and then um i wrestled in at this i forgot the name of the bar something alley bar alley okay but they had like these arcade games inside the ring was outside and it was packed man there was like seven eight hundred people up there mm -hmm. and everybody uh uh was there to get outlandish and we had a killer match i hurt my elbow some way, somehow. Um, but uh, I went to the Nike employee store. Yes. One of the staff over there at Palpa Wrestling um, was able to, uh, Garrett, thank you, Garrett, was able to send over a employee pass. And I was able to get 40% off at their store. So I got some I got some new gym shoes. I got some new Metcons so I'm going to be wearing this week. And I got some uh, these new like uh, Cortez, like uh, they're like gray and purple and yellow and pink. They're pretty yeah. thick. I think I'll show you them. And then I got a peach Nike tracksuit. I'm be honest, with you, it's like a goal of my life to go to a Nike outlet. Brother, with they hate it. So off. you walk in. Well, you got to come to Oregon. First off, me. first off, you totally ignore my text about that. I definitely told you look up the Jordan ones and tell me what you. Oh shit! I didn't see you. You, you should have told me. Oh yeah, man, I was yeah. There was a lot going on. You got the world's biggest Nike place. You was at the place where Nike. That was like the Nike oh, Hall of Fame. Man. Nike Hall. Holy Grail. Oh, and man. He didn't see no Jordan. No, I, I mean, there was. I should have got some, but my suitcase wasn't big enough. Like, I, I, So you walk in, and they give you the option of, okay, you can either spend $3,000 or 30 items, whichever comes first. Look at the, hold up. Hold up. They give you that option? Yes. And but but and the 40% off is taken off at the register. So, so my shit you, came up, and I was like, it was like, uh, I think four or something. And I was like, yo. And then the 40% off came. It was like two something, low two. I said, this rules. Okay. I'm not mad at that. They had this get Nike yellow, like Kill Bill looking zip up, dude, like track jacket. It was so sick. And you're and so they bad. wanted 160 for that bad boy. Why did you get it? I didn't get it. And I regret it. And I think next time I go to Oregon, I'm going to get it. But something really cool happened this weekend, Carly. What I want to share this with you in the world. And I think this was incredible. I've been having a rough time, like I've been saying. And unfortunately, I got to go to work. You know, I got to work, pays the bills. I love my job. Don't get me wrong. But lately, it's been a little tough to be outlandish, Zicky Dice. Okay. And I'm, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place of knowing what I want and how to get there the right, right way. I so that. I think taking a step back and getting my head on straight and getting my, my mental health right and my body right 
and hop in the ring and, and bring some new shit. Yeah. And, and, and really turn up. I was talking to Scooch earlier about turning up the promo game like I love to do. And I don't want to slow down by any means. I am in the prime of my fucking life right now. And I will be damned if I let some little, some little setback hold me back. Now, you ask me about tattoos every week, okay? Now, let me do. answer the question for you now. On the side of my, on this side, I have death tattooed right down here. On the other side, I have proof tattooed. And this is why. Tell me. Because I've been through hell and back, Carly right. Bravo, and I'm sitting right here sharing my story with the world. So, I will be damned with whatever I'm going through in my life that we can't pull my head out of my ass and give you and the world and my wife and my family the best version of Nick that they've ever seen, which in return will give the world the best version of Al Landers, Sticky Dice. And that's what we want here, right? That's what we fucking want. We want the best version of you. That's what I like about people, right? I don't want people to be subpar versions of themselves. I want you to be the U.S. you that you can be. What was the quote you said about the bees and the honey earlier? That's my favorite. I brought that up earlier, but I want to make sure that I memorize it the right way. I got you, my friend. It's that you attract more bees with honey than vinegar. You attract more bees with honey than vinegar. Yes. And And I want to bring out the honey in me because you know what, honey? Ooh, you there's, pooping, there's, a, there's a lot of honey up oh, inside here. Oh, Vicky the honey. Pooh. I don't like tie, it. Don't tie me to a tree. Oh, I like it. T.I. I double know. gut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Honey. But that's, and, that, and that's the version of me that I want back. I want the version of me that, that feels confident and that yeah. laughs and loves and, and, and got his head on straight. And, dude, it's been, it's you know what's been going on. It's been Baby. a real, real hard time. Check me out, man. And I am in the busiest time of my my life. goddamn career, my yeah, life, absolutely, my life, absolutely. My two-year Listen wedding up. anniversary is next week. Yep. Shout out to you guys. Um, uh, was that a dog scratching at the door? No, that wasn't a okay, dog scratching okay. at the door. Yeah, um, I'm gonna lay off the the. I uh, meds. I just got back from Oregon late last night. I'm here for the day. Tomorrow I take off to uh, <laughs> championship wrestling. Love it. And I'm wrestling uh, Gangrel. I'm defending my Gangrel. Gangrel. I don't know who the hell Gangrel was, but Gangrel. Gangrel? Yes. No, you said Gangrel. Gangrel. You sound like Gandalf, but Gangrel. You Gangrel. Said Gan- Gangrel. 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 <sighs> okay, Gangrel. I'm wrestling him. Yeah, no, I am no. not a fan of blood. He had. And neither is my friend John McMaster. He plays bass in a band called Sick Up Kid. One time, one of my buddies ran into a, a, a door, a, a nice clean glass Window door, thing. and it broke his nose, and okay. he was bleeding. He looked like the Andrew WK I remember cover. that cover. Wow, right? that was a nice drop. And so John McMaster turns and sees the blood, and... He almost faints. He, blood is not his thing. I feel you. So I'm like a level higher than John McMaster, but I don't really like blood. Well, I guess shout out to John McMasters, and that was a cool segue from Gangrel. But you're fighting. But Gangrel. I have to. But he. But the. Cool. But the point of the story is Gangrel's yes. going to probably try and spit blood on me. And what 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 can I do to fix that? Let me tell you, you maybe something, use bro. A Let me tell you something, bro. That is the only a maxi pad. Wow. When I'm not even going to breeze by that one. Yeah. Right. Imagine he up. goes to spit the blood, and I just hold up a big ass maxi pad size extra large. First off, you need some big beef curtains that have a big ass. <laughs> oh. I, like that, right? But check it, check it, check it. God, you learned it something. Be, I see that you're learning I, something. I, I did some weekend. research over the weekends. I'm know, sure man? you did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so listen, bro. Let me tell you something. If it is one of my goals in life to get a bloodbath, that's from what the from dude, gang route, bro. The, you know what? That probably be the only you know time what? I ever want to be covered hit, in if blood. If we hit by ten patrons, own. how about this? We hit ten patrons, 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 patrons. I will do a, but we can do a photo shoot of you in a bloodbath. Uh, not sexy. Not really down for that. You know, you, I would you like, said you, it was your, did you, from what? Gangrel, bro. I want to fight game. I will get him here. I, want the I will get, I will get him here. I want to wake Tiger, up. Now, and, oh, now, now, wait, now, wait, now, wait, now, wait. What? If we, if you brought Gangrel here, okay, I'd, I'd take, I'd catch a blood, a blood bath. No I could probably get bath. Gangrel here. No questions asked, bro. I could probably no get questions. Gangrel here Without and give question. you a blood bath. Let me would, see what I can do. I would 100% do Do not try me, Carly Bravo. Hey, listen, brother, listen, brother. You might as well call me Carly Timberlake because we're bringing Ziggy back. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. right. We're we bringing Zicky back. You know, oh, we're bringing Zicky back. This is, you know, this is dangerous. Oh, you know, and, and there's a line that you said and, that, for so long, and and uh, the other day, and it stuck with me. I actually wrote it down. It was um, you said they called you crazy your whole life, and now they're surprised that you've lost your mind. Oh. And I love that. Look at me. I'm a fucking wise that. man. 
I'm, you are I am wise, wisdom, man. the embodiment of wisdom. Bro. I don't that was some good wisdom, man. Thank and, you, I, and, and that's hey. where, and we're getting back. And this is, this is all of you is my witness. Are for. And I feel like eventually we can release the documentary, which I've been times. telling Scooch we need to do. There has to be a documentary at some point. I'll be on share your side forevermore. Because that's what friends are for. That's me to you, man. That's a me to you. Thank you. Fucking A, right, baby. I'm so hard. So wait, for some so, reason. Oh, you ain't soft, baby. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. So uh, I think we can run through this a little quickly today. You know, this is my favorite part of the run through. Show. I wasn't done talking about shit. I wasn't done. Listen, you hold your horses. I wasn't done about my week. You, I just told you about championship wrestling days. and Gangrel, and you and you got sidetracked. Oh, and I sorry. forgot to tell you that oh, there's a yeah, new see? Wrestling with Regret YouTube champion right here. I there won is. this champion. Shout out champion. to Wrestling with Regret over the weekend. And Wrestling with Regret has a whole lot of YouTube subscribers. And you know what that means? They're all going to come and subscribe oh. here to Bad Taste. See their champion. Outlander Ziggy died. See their champion. See their champion. And and uh, Brian Zane and Wrestling with Regret and the YouTube Championship has put an open challenge out to any promotion. Anywhere in the world okay. that wants this title defended on their promotion. And yes, we can put it on Wrestling with Regrets channel with their half a million subscribers. Oh, man, I might know a couple million people, or billion, you know? trillion, I might know a couple people by now. Check that out. But yes, we can make that happen. So yeah, I got I added some uh, new gold over the weekend. I also added some gold. I didn't bring it, but I am now. Okay, you're a poser. Uh, thank you. I, well, no, no, I just didn't bring it. That's uh, rude. No, I you am, disrespect championships. No, nope, okay. nope, not at all. I am the Southern Fried Classic champion. Champion. Oh, uh, right. Southern Fly Wrestling Classics you Champion. You can't even say the name. It's a, that's a mouthful. Wow. Like myself. You know, mm -hmm. Southern Fried Champion Classics Champion. There you go. That's me right now. A lot of prestigious people have held that title over the years. Maybe we can try again next week and you'll have that down. I, I have it down right now. Do it again. Southern Fried Championship Wrestling Classics Champion. <laughs> Santa sells seashells by the seashore. I ain't doing that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Seashells wait, wait, by no wait. seashore. Listen, listen. My son fucked me up with this one. Ready? Sell, say this. Say Santa's shiny suit shrunk. Santa's <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. Santa's sh shiny suit shrunk. Santa's shiny suit shrunk. Santa's tiny suit shrunk. Santa's. Santa's Santa shiny, shiny suit, suit shrunk. shrunk. Santa's shiny suit shrunk. Ah. Santa's shiny shoe shrunk. Santa's si <laughs> Santa shiny suit shrunk. Ah ha ha. Sa 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 Sasha <laughs> Sanny Sue <Su> Funk. <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking out of go. Oh. I don't know what the hell we're hey, talking listen. about. But listen, listen. So after wrestling Gangrel tomorrow, okay, I'm getting back to this. I am going into the studio to make some new music this week, dude. Okay. In LA. Okay. I've extended my stay. So I'm wrestling in Irvine tomorrow night at the Irvine Improv, one of my uh -huh. favorite venues and favorite shows. Marvelous. I was able to be there last month, but here I am defending my championship against Gangrel. Marvelous. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I'm in the studio. Then Thursday, I'm taking a flight to Las Vegas mm. for some Impact Wrestling this Ooh, weekend. Making an Impact, you are? Yes, I'll that. be at Impact Wrestling. I love and, that. Um, and then I'll be home. Yeah. And uh, yes, and That's just fucking celebrating my two-year wedding anniversary oh, and man. hanging out with my friends and getting shit right. I like that. And training Gordo, because I hear him banging on the damn dog gate. Shout out to Gordizzi, my kneesy, you know. But now, yeah, I'm done. So, yeah, whatever. Shout out to Gordizzi, my kneesy. It's good to see the good young Gordo master. Shout out to you guys, to Taste Buds. And not just all of you, Taste Buds. I want to give a special shout out our patrons, to our man. patrons. Tell them about them, man. Shout out to you guys, man. You guys are really, are really getting We're making sure we give some behind-the-scenes content. Yeah, and I yeah. will be posting while I'm gone. I'm trying to get the Twitch rolling. Hey. I've been busy, but you can expect some more streams. I'm, I need to do some IRL streams. Maybe I'll hop I've been, in the studio. We can stream this week. I've been on his ass lately. Okay, we're gonna be giving you guys these skits are coming. We just came up with some wild ass shit. Yeah, it's coming. Okay? We it's came coming. Up with some we we just gotta up it. It's, it's time. We're okay. in our prime. It's time. Let's go. And that's everybody. That's yeah. Everybody, listen. Yeah. Get your ass off the couch and do something. Yeah. You gotta get out. We gotta there and do find that something. Dog. We gotta do something. I love slots. Slots fucking, cheer me up. Yeah, you remember that? I might have to hit some slots in Las Vegas this weekend. I love Aldis Snow. Ah, you know about Aldis Snow. Get I love Aldis Snow. Fucking, yeah. he's the man, bro. Yeah. yeah, definitely shout out to you guys. Um, also, we have a P.O. box. I think I told y'all this before. Do we get any gifts? Did anyone mail us a dog turd yet? I'll be honest with you. I haven't been to the post office to check it yet. But if you guys have sent something, I'm going to go check it out. Uh, P.O. Box 2190. Is this our fifth or sixth? Oh, 21. Powder Springs. Sorry. 
Six episodes. Yeah, six episodes. Wow. Georgia, 30127. Wow. I should probably say that all together so that you guys don't so I don't sound like I'm freaking crazy. Uh, P.O. Box, 2190. Powder Springs, Georgia, 30127. Oh, yeah. And I want to... And our sponsor, up. yeah, of course, sponsor. Real yeah. Kind Meds, four twenty. Speaking of, can't do it without Real nope, Kind Meds. Nope, we cannot. We cannot. And you know what, buddy? Appreciate you very, very much. Thank you for making bad taste happen. And all of you lovely people who listen, and uh, whether it's on Apple, uh, iTunes, or Spotify, or the YouTube, or uh, Google Talk, the Google, or Talk. just about anything else that you can listen to stuff uh, on. Yeah, all of that. So check this out. Let me tell you guys something. So I recently, uh, as you guys know, you know, I like to partake in nature's finest. You know, it's a big thing for me, you know. And uh, I realized that my buddy Zicky, I asked him, I said, hey, buddy, can you go get us a little cigaretto? And he said, I can't do that. And you know why he said he can't do that? Hmm? Let me tell you this terrible piece of news that I just found out about Zicky. That can't Zicky. roll. Dice can't roll. Yep. That is the wild. Hey, don't ask me this week what the name of the episode is, Scooch. That's the Damn, fucking name of the dice episode. Can't roll. Dice can't fucking roll, which is absolutely maddening. Okay, how, how, how? I don't know, man. I've just been. Uh, well, now they have the cones. They Do were we? cones. Oh man, that's the easy way out. Man. I love I'm that. I'm an easy guy. Hey, easy Snoop and Method Man are out there turning in their grave. Cheech and Chong, and they're out there dice. Dice. Oh, come oh, on. The unrolling dice. Hey, let's put that on. That's a large. Let's put that on a t-shirt dice can't roll with my fingers just with, wow. a, with a little Yo, what, if, oh. what, if you're at, what if you're at tv and you run out and everybody's hype and all of a sudden dice can't roll so I they start chanting that would you lose it i i think i think uh time would freeze and i'd probably just have to urinate all over myself no you would bro what no, else would, would i have to do nice ass shit if you if you urinated on yourself that would just be absolutely weird why would you do that buddy you know, you got nice clothes on. I wouldn't urinate. You should be happy. The fans are the fans are watching bad taste. We talked about all this. In. That's a scare tactic. It's a war cry. Would you want to wrestle a guy who just imagine I'm like drooling and I look at you and I'm like, come on, and I just piss myself. I will bust out <laughs> laughing. Exactly. Look what you just did. I will fucking fall out. But now you got to fight this dude who just pissed on himself. Like, would you fight? fight why not? Why, why not? Because he's got enough. What if you? On. What if you were ready? To, what if you? What if? He's already got enough going on. No. What if like you you started the fight? Like you were the one coming at him, and this dude tried to tell you to chill, right? And he's like, yo, you got to chill. Like I'm with my family. And you're like, no, you just respecting me you in my car whatever and he says all right young man and he takes off his shirt and he's wearing a, a wife beater but it's like stained a little bit and then he puts in the biggest dip of tobacco you've ever seen and he starts drooling that shit and then he looks at you and he just urinates all over himself and he okay. grabs it in his hand and he wipes it on his face okay i would have hit him <laughs> so far long ago when when right? probably around the time when uh when i said you hit my car you know what i'm saying at that moment right there oh, or, or any of the on. other moments that happened right after that you know i let oh. him put a dip in i let him take the shirt off i let him drool on himself for a while yeah. i let him piss on himself i let him hit my car like we had a lot of things happening i but, probably but th that would yeah that right right yeah i guess i'll try well, listen, hey, hey 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 when someone hits my car hey you don't let me teach you how to roll this joint? Yeah, teach me. Show yeah. me how. Where do I start? Where do you start? You start by picking up that, that table over there. The table? The little grind, the little thing right there. Okay. Yeah, the little the tray, right? Okay, you start with that. Now, this is a fucking... This is something that is... I hurt my elbow. This, you hurt your elbow? I said that earlier, yeah. So, like, yeah. positions. Yeah, you want to change your panties while you're at 6 it? 6 a.m. tomorrow. Huh? Huh? I have to be at the airport at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Oh, the life. Yeah, I guess. Okay, here, buddy. Let me see. Let me give the you, life. Let me give you some real kind meds. The Come life of a, of a circus animal. That's how I feel sometimes. Yeah. CBD. Yeah, I'm handing over CBD. the CBD. Teach me how to roll the CBD. This I'm handing over Carly the CBD. Bravo drugs. You know? <laughs> I remember. Carly Bravo. I bang. remember. But hello, it's so good to see everybody here. It is. And I've missed it everybody. Is. And I, I was good. looking forward to this. Hey, you know, week. you know what I you know what disappointed me this week? What? All right, so I was online. Everybody was really hollering out. I was talking to Scooch about this earlier. Here you go, by the way. A lot of people were talking about how disappointed they were in uh in the in the new Halloween movie. Are you are you are you a, a new um, Halloween movie? Oh yeah, it's called Halloween Ends. Where is this oh, movie? How appropriate, right? Like, Where is this movie? Uh, it's on it's on Amazon Peacock. Peacock? Oh, we have Peacock. Maybe I'll try and watch uh, it tonight. For those I have to finish packing after this. I mean, everything's done. My mother-in-law helped me with my laundry station. Oh, you got her. to see I hope you guys just see what I did there. I saw Zicky has an automatic, yeah, that's an automatic grinder. Zicky has a, a, a automatic grinder. You sit, you put it on a tray, you push down and listen. 
it, 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 it grinds it for you. If that's not the most Wait, thanks Harry for Potter wizardry years. stuff I've ever seen. Wow. All right, buddy. I'm Sp actually very excited. sub for two years. Two years subscription. Thank you, Slit. That's very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so here I got my CBD. Huh? What? You have your CBD. Okay, yeah. cool. Right? You have your yeah. CBD. Now what? I'm going to give you something very important. Okay, right? I'm excited. I'm going to give you. All right. A raw paper. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, raw Will paper. you lick mine? Don't go home. The paper. When do we do the licking? We don't do any licking, bro. <laughs> Why not? You lick your own paper. Oh. And I'll lick my own Can paper. Can we lick it together? We don't have to. <laughs> You know, I, I think it would be a good bonding experience. I think I could use that, maybe. You want me to lick your paper? I don't know about all that, Bubba. You know what I'm saying? Where can I put the paper? Where do I put the paper? You. What? I'm just, don't worry. I'm don't, worry. don't worry. When you don't lick worry. It, you'll show me? You'll show me? I will show you. Okay, very well. Yeah, I'll show you where to put okay, the paper. Raw paper, bro. I was going to do a whole, a whole commercial. You know, they was trying to get us a, a nice little sponsorship. Raw. Okay, so you got the envelope looking part. What do I do with that? All right, we're gonna hold that. Okay, I also have a tip for you. Okay, it's also, oh, oh. oh, it's right there. It's right there. Use your elbow. There you go. Okay, buddy, listen. This is gonna be extremely easy, and you guys can follow along at home too. Wow, Get your favorite CBD. Let's make this. Use your, use your pa paper, your paper mache. Okay, here we go. Paper Show me mache. how to make this. Okay, listen, uh, bro. Are you right handed or left handed? Right handed. Okay, so I want you to put your tip on your left side of the paper. Oh, yeah. Okay, and you're gonna hold it there with your left hand. See how I did this right here? See how I got that just chilling yep. right there? See? Yep. Boom, right? I got that just chilling now, right check, there. Check it. You don't gotta use a lot. I, and you kinda wanna put it like, put the, the tip in the middle, Bubba. You feel what I'm saying? See the little creasy creasy? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. You wanna take your CBD, you know, and you wanna uh, sprinkle it inside oh, wow. your, your raw paper. You know, not a little bit, but enough, you know? I feel enough. like a true rapper. You feel like a rapper? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's super racist. What? <laughs> this is what they do in the video. I've never done this. Video. Or like maybe a hippie. hippie. If this is yeah, a backwood, yeah. you totally would have that. You'd have some claim there, right? Well, well I like rapping. Okay. Oh, we can rap, Bubba. We can I rap. You know, surprisingly, you, you're a pretty good rapper. Yeah, I told you. I would practice, uh, would drive around, and my buddy Adrian and I would just put on instrumentals, and we would see who can okay. just flow. So longest. you have a little bit less in yours than I do. I like to make oh it enough God. to, like, like it's actually pass it. something wrong. Yeah, right? yeah, you got to right? pass it with your left hand. Right, so look. Hand. So look. See, I'm just pinching this right here, and I've got it just doing this thing. It's all nice. I wish you guys could see it. It's all nice and dandy and, and, and pretty. You know? We got that right there. Yeah? Yep. Nice. Now, Sam, now check it. Let me know when you, when you got a comfortable amount in there. I got you, Bubba. I think I got a comfortable amount in there. Okay. Okay. Now look, I want you to use that bot, use the bottom flap to kind of make like a, kind of make a little pocket. You know, you want it to, to sit right above where your CBD is going to be at. You see how I got it right here, buddy? You see how I made like a little envelope type deal? Oh yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm just holding it right there. I've got it. I've got the line, the bottom paper line right above. Now mind you, hold on, hold on. I, you, the gum, I don't know if I told you, the gum strip, because I, I think you're doing it wrong already. The gum strip needs to be on top, Bubba. On top where? Look, you see that gum strip on the top? That's the part that you lick and seals everything up. You're oh, so on the I bottom. just got to turn it around. You just have to turn it around. So you're going to be just doing it, doing it the reverse way, which is okay. about me. That's okay. That's okay. We well, got it there. All right. I asked you that in the beginning, but this you is, ignore this, me. This is bonding. This is way better than licking each other's papers. No, right? I still want to lick yours. Uh, that's, that's, damn. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. All right. You got it? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so look, look. The first thing you first side you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna like like just make a little fold. See I just did that? You're just gonna wanna fold Where it in there. Um um your your, your uh, tip first. Always tip first. You, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, okay. Tip always goes in first. Okay. Okay. So look, look. You wanna make a little like little fold and just and let it fold right over. You, the goal is to get the little bottom paper to kind of tuck behind the tip a little bit. And it, and you can use that as your guide. I got it. Let me see. Oh, you're the man. I'm so proud. All right. Now look, look, just look, you just, it's very simply just roll it up. And when you get up there, lick the, um, lick the gum strap. See, all I did was just roll it from that point. Oh, I'm so proud. This is so great. And, and look, look, you just want to fold it just to close. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. What'd you do? You spilled all that weed out? I mean, CBD. That's CBD. <laughs> it's all right. I got the CBD. Okay, cool. There you go. Look, and you're gonna just follow that, follow that all the way around. Follow it straight down the line. You're just gonna keep going, 
Look at that. See? It oh, just, shit. It's like a little burrito. Your tip came out. That's why you're supposed to fasten it. Look how I did that. There you go. You got fat fingers, man. I know, brother. Jesus. It's like Jimmy Godzilla Dean. finger over there. Jimmy Dean sausage fingers over there. My man got breakfast meat fingers. Shit. Okay, okay here we go. Oh, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. I hate this. Mm-hmm. You're doing it. You're going to have to smoke that. So <laughs> yeah. uh, Put some love into it. <laughs> no, you're going to have to smoke it. We're swapping. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Oh, damn it. He's got a perfectly crafted fucking piece of perfection over here. So do you, dude. All right, I'm ready for it. You know what? I would love to smoke your joint, Bubba. Thank you, dude. That means a lot to me. This is loose. That's what she said. This is this is really loose. That's what she said. It's okay, bro. I, I don't mind if it's loose. You know, I've, I've, I've spun the block a couple times. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, it means what it sounds like, you know? All right, so listen, I heard the new Halloween movie was absolutely terrible, and I'm pretty pissed about it, you know, because... Uh, All right, let, Jesus. Holy right. oh, moly, that looks like a candy cane. Let me Can see that. Fix thing. this? Oh, Jesus. Is that fixable? God. Where'd your tip go? Oh, it fell right here. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, I lost the tip. <laughs> I told you this is a bad idea. I knew it. I got a tip over here for you. Oh. I got one. Oh, no. But here, you're going to have to lick this yourself. Oh, I found it. Nope, you're done. I got it. Lick mine. Please lick it. Just lick mine. Oh, it's so wet. What the hell? That's also what she said, guys. How'd you know? All right. So listen, let me ask you a question. Because I really want to, I was thinking about this earlier and I want you to answer. Are you into horror movies? Oh uh, yeah, I think we talked about this one. Who's your favorite? You know? Who's your favorite? I don't know. Like I think like, the Stranger. I like the uh, those Purge series. Those are pretty cool. Could you purge? No. Oh, this is a great combo. Could you purge? Scoop, no. Could you purge? I couldn't purge. No. 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 I might go get some like I don't know, maybe a new computer, you know, or something. Wow. Hey, let me tell maybe. you guys something. Lock in. Okay. I would purge the fuck out of maybe, somebody. Maybe else. a slot machine. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I would purge the. Fuck out of somebody. I mean, uh, if, some you of to, if you're purging, purge. I guess I have to purge. Oh, brother, we would have, we would definitely purge. Oh my god, can you imagine us purging in a big pink and yellow fucking? I want to purge with band you, with music coming out and stuff like that. I would yep. go crazy. We would play "It Feels Good" by Tony Tony Tony, <laughs> the whole, <laughs> blasting from the fucking speakers as we just went. No, through I want like the ice cream truck, people, like, like Twisted Metal. I want like one of those ice like, cream like Sweet Tooth. Yeah, oh, you guys remember Sweet yeah. Tooth? Hey, you know, uh, but I want to like serve ice cream sandwiches out there so we make our money, but like everyone respects us hey, and shit. Hey, let me blow your mind. Let me blow. All these clowns with all these like here. crazy shit. Here, piece of crap. Is that me? Unfortunately. Oh, this one's great. I know, but, but wow, I did ridiculous. This. You know, my 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 thing barely survived the night. Yeah, I will never. I don't have. Okay, let me tell you something about me. I don't have the time or patience for this shit right here. That's so this. And it's like I, I'll be honest with you. Like I, that's why I like the cones are on the go. Or or you see how or, fast. Yo. or going to the dispensary. And, and getting the pre rolls. I did that in 2.4 seconds. You see, Speaking I just, of which, I, I didn't get, I forgot to tell you the most important part of the story this weekend. Oh, so the guy Mark that picked me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I was crazy. About to hit a whole stride on these fucking. And you can. Okay. You can. Let me see the light. Remind me of what I was so talking we, we, about. We, purging. Don't forget. So we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. So after the Nike store, I was like, do you want to go anywhere else? I was like, can we stop at the dispensary? That sounds nice, you know? And uh, we go in there, and um, he knew I was having a rough weekend. So I put my stuff together, and. Uh, I went to pay, and Mark, who picked me up, shout out to Mark. He put my wallet away. He paid for my whole entire order at the dispensary. That was really hundred forty something dollars worth. Shout out to Mark. That's actually really that dope. was very nice. He wouldn't let me pay, and I thought that was very very kind. He says, "I hope that that little gesture will make you smile, so people pay it forward. Do something nice for someone sometimes." So you got to pay for it. I've done, yeah, and I've done that before. I've bought people's drinks and stuff. I love doing that kind of shit. Nice, nice, it was super nice. Yeah, I haven't had anybody pay for anything of mine lately, but I mean that's dope. That's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, and yeah, that was pretty cool. And I, I thought I'd share cool. that. That was a shout out to Mark, and he was there for me all weekend. Shout and out to Mark. He showed me a lot of love, and I appreciate that. And sometimes you just need a friend. Sometimes you just need a hug. Sometimes you do need a hug. Yeah. Well, I'm, let me tell you something. I'm always down to hand out free hugs. Yeah. You know, free hugs are cool. Uh, free hugs are cool until it says free hugs on an all-white van driving down the street. That's probably not the free hugs you want to get. No. You know, an all-white van with no windows. That's not the kind of free hugs I'm talking about. No. But I am down for giving out free hugs to nice people. I'm always down for that. Hey, just, uh, are you wrestling this weekend? 
Uh, actually, no, this weekend. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We got, I got some family yeah, I got got... this weekend. I'm off this weekend. Nice. Um, so I won't be wrestling this weekend. I had a pretty pretty busy last couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? And then I have a very busy end of the week. You know, yep. um, not end of uh, end of the month rather. So I'm taking a little, I'm taking a chill pill this week to handle some family things. It's gonna be good. I'm excited for it. You know. Uh, but hey, I really want to. I want to get back to this because uh, that was a really cool. Oh, question. Yeah, the purge. I would definitely purge again. Um, I would purge one time. I think a lot of people would try to purge at first, and then after they realize how real shit is, that second year would be a little light in the ass. Huh? <laughs> ah, yeah, you're out there like, oh shit. <laughs> hey, yo, I lost my grandma purging last year. I don't know how to hey. go. This thing smokes like a hormone monster, by the way. I feel like this thing is like he's over there looking like Snoop Dogg, and my thing looks like fucking. Told you, it's like Flavor Flav. You know, it's just all the way not. I met real. Flavor Flav once. Did you? Yes, it was actually at a bowling alley in uh, in Las Vegas. And he was asking whatever guy was with him to borrow twenty dollars. That's a true story at the bowling alley. Yeah, that's fucking insane. That doesn't surprise me. He had the clock. Everything was bowling. Like, hey, they man, gave that know. guy a show where forty women tried to vie for his love. Like, what did that say I about the time as a country? You know, what like not show. not that they gave Flavor Flavor show before the Bridget, Bachelor was a thing. Brigitte, dude. You know what I'm saying? Before Bridget. before Handsome Bachelors was getting auctioned off on national television, oh, they gave Flavor Flav. It was like. <laughs> It was like, let's see how low we can get people to go. You know, how hard can you lie? Shit. Can you fall in love with a cockroach? You know, and you know what? And I love it. And it got good ratings. Boy, it did it. People watch. It was entertaining. Flavor Flav was the man. But Watching I mean, flavor of fight love, over Flavor Flav. You know, where's I need? I need? I need something like that. I, I just remember. I need something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. I need something like that. I need New something. York. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I love New York, bro. I forgot about dude, and, and I just remember Flavor Flav in the hot tub with Brigitte. That's like mm -hmm. the one vision I had. Wait, who? Brigitte. What's her name? Brigitte. Yeah, the big blonde Russian. I don't remember her. I remember Delicious. I remember the fucking, chick that he was all in love with. He was show. in love with a lot of chicks. I thought he was in love with New York. That's how she got her own show. She was wild. This is wild. She was wild. Scooch, we up? We good, baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Camera got or no? Oh, okay. Shout out to all the homies too. I don't know yeah, if we shout them out enough. Shout out to the boys. School. Darian's out on the road. Stunt Gators out the road. there. Out they're doing their thing. Hey, brother, out there. Everyone out there doing their thing. I challenge everyone to go out there and do your thing. Whatever your thing is. Go I got. I'm. My goal is to learn something new this week. I'm working on a new set of skills myself. Yeah. What oh, skill yeah, is that? Yeah. Some important skills. What skill? A like? very set of skills. I don't know. I want to be more comfortable, like just vibing by myself. That's you know? that's a good skill to have. I'm working on new skills too. Yep. You want a skill? What's that? Finding different ways to kill a man. You gotta touch the prostate. Whoa, wait, what? Everybody I said kill that. a man, not thrill a man. Oh, <laughs> Those sorry. two different things. Gotta get my hearing checked. Yeah, I'm not I'm not stick, I'm not touching no man's prostate. That's not my deal. <laughs> That's not, that is not my thing. Isn't that prostate? Isn't that like you should yeah. get your prostate checked all the time? Mm. I'll check yours. If I will save you, do you have insurance? <laughs> I take all insurance. You take all insurance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All insurance. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good on that, brother. I oh, appreciate that. Come on. I appreciate that, though. You know? Think about the content. I, 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 you can check. You, you, you go over you, this if, every if, if single Scoo week. If Scooch let you, you, let you check his prostate first, then I'll let you do. I'll, I'll let you check Stunt's prostate. I can do that. I could just set up a, a stand or a cart, you know, like with the little bells. Bing, bing. Prostate ZPC, Zicky's Prostate Center. This is going to be a big thing, national, worldwide. I don't know, what age? You, you guys hate, we check prostates. What is the age where you should start getting your prostate checked? Like 40. Can we look that up? It is. Like 50? Like well, 60 or than that. Four, I, think it's, I think it's it's our age. No, it's not. I do. It's never going to be my age. I do think. It'll never be my age. I do think. Does anyone know? Anyone got a random guess? Oh, man. When, have you had your prostate checked? I have, have not. Have you had your prostate checked? Have you checked? had your prostate checked? You have your prostate? 55. Oh, we got some time. I got about a good 20 years 55. on me for that one. Good job. Damn, okay. Oh, yeah, that's not, that's not a vibe. Hey, so if you were, if you, oh, I probably shouldn't ask that question. Oh, uh, what? I was going to no. ask if you, no, maybe. Cool. Well, go ahead. No, I was going to ask. It's Halloween. I'm in this, I'm in a spooky season spirit. You know what I mean? I was going to ask, like, you know. What am I doing for Halloween? No, actually. We I'm going to sit on the, I'm going to, so we have a long driveway. No one's going to walk up, but I'm going to dress up like a, like a, it's crazy something i'll have gordo dressed up as something in flair and we'll all sit there until hopefully someone comes up and grabs candy and maybe no one will and then i'll go inside and watch the wedding singer that is some old shit 
That sounds great. No, that sounds terrible. We're going to go out. We're going to party. What? That's like getting your Thanksgiving food from Whole Foods. That is some no, no. old shit. We'll go out and party. I am not going to go out and party. We're going to go party. We're going to go party at Halloween. We'll, they'll be okay. They'll be all right. <sighs> the, the, yo, bro, listen. Well, they'll, the this sounds like a terrible idea. It sounds like a great idea. We're going to go party on Halloween. We might, this, might, this thing might be mobile on Halloween. It's Monday night, too. Oh, and this I know. show is on Halloween. We can what? go so I know show. the perfect place to go on a Monday out here, bro. We're going to go somewhere. We're going to be dressed up. It's going to be fucking Applebee's. <laughs> bro, let me tell you something. The last place I want to be on in any holiday is an Applebee's. If you go to Applebee's on holidays, Period. Enough said. You know, you know, you know? Yeah. yo, Applebee's used to be. Let me, let me not hate all the way. Applebee's used to be hot dollar shit, right? When I was younger, Chili's, Applebee's, I, yeah, Chili's Outback. Sucks. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, Chili's, Applebee's, Outback. It's all the same shit. What else? Chef's a fucking microwave. IHOP, Denny's. What else? Oh, what Denny's else sucks. Oh. What? Golden Corral. Oh, I hate Golden Corral with stuff, stuff, bro, no, When stuff. we were younger, that was like, that oh, shit, sucks. we're going to Chili's. I remember that feeling. I remember going to Chili's and being like, oh, shit. You know why? Because they had spectacular fucking marketing. No, all of that. Yeah, uh, one more. Gross. I uh, want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Remember that shit? They had them cool-ass jazz singers chilling up. Yeah, speaking about cool. Barbecue fucking ribs. They used to have, like, karaoke at the Applebee's, and then you get, like, those dollar Long Islands. It's like water and whatever they splished off the bar into your cup you know just <laughs> that's exactly what it is they here. squeeze that shit right off the bar they yeah. give it to you in a cup they, they squeeze their sponge out and they put some fucking grenadine yeah and there's your fucking drink let me here's absolutely not Long Island. but here's, back here's in the, the day and lemon that fell on the floor back in the day that shit was high dollar shit bro like i used to let me tell you something bro i How's still i'll go to outback right now i'll go to outback when this fucking episode is over for a blooming onion you know? Yeah, blooming onions are fire. Blooming, blooming onions, onions are fucking wicked. I love those things. Who don't love a good blooming onion? You know what I don't love? Fucking, fucking microwave fucking boneless bits and Jack Daniel sauce. I'm yeah, not with bro. yeah, exactly. I'm not with none of that shit. You know, sizzling chickens. I'm only know this stuff. I used to work on the Fridays. I, used to, I maybe I got some bitterness in there. Hey, I don't know what the hell you're talking. I worked, about. I worked at the Fridays for like a year. Shout out to the Fridays in Myrtle Beach. Oh, this is know? terrible. What? I that's did that. Terrible. That's where I, that's, yeah, that's the place that taught me how to cook. Really not a good teacher, but I mean, uh, it was what it was, you know, a lot of microwave shit there. You know hey, you I mean? made some good sliders when we, when we came over that one time. Oh, I can cook my ass off, baby boy. I'm yeah, nice with maybe, that. Maybe we should do some cooking streams. Maybe we should do an episode where we cook something, dude. We, we take it do. upstairs. We can totally do that. Yeah, we, we can we definitely do that. do that. We can definitely do that. Let's do that next week. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I'm actually very proud of you. This is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Well, you fixed it, but it was ass. It was still mm. loose, but thank you. You're welcome. No. Thank you. Right. Yeah, oh, you know, you know, we're getting freaky. So we are? So, yeah, I was going to ask you, if you were, uh, what's the, like, 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 if you, do you, if you were a fucking serial killer. What the fuck? It's Halloween. If you were a serial killer, right, what would be, your, how would you go? Like, you know, what would you be like? the fucking campus pool drowner you know, would you be like the fucking would you be like like i don't know what's some weird shit you we've heard some weird shit over the years right would you be like the fucking you might be the weirdest one of the weirdest would you be like ever dude or? there was a okay okay maybe that's a little dark maybe yeah, like, like what, off, how bro. would you kill mass people <laughs> <laughs> like what what the fuck if your body got possessed by a child and a child's doll how would you walk around the house killing people you know you no, should but do I'll a... tell you, i had this reoccurring dream for a long time where i could like see this guy who like looked like a leather face and he wore this weird thing and we could like see him down these hills i could still see like the hills and like it was me and a few other people but he always would look at us like he knew where we were scary bro i could see a little doll instead of chucky being called zicky and it just fucking runs around and kills people that would be absolutely fucking hilarious could you not i like idle hands you ever seen that movie absolutely not really idle hands what's that about you ever seen idle hands never heard of oh it. we should watch idle hands what's idle hands you heard of that school where the hand gets uh possessed and it's like yeah and it goes and does crazy shit i've never heard oh. of that one i've what's never that, heard of that what, one isn't like seth uh what's his name the redhead one yeah, you know i like i like i'm a freddy krueger oh, dude i like uh the shocker my grandfather showed me the shocker it came out like the 70s it's some dude who fucking gets elect like he gets the electric chair he's a serial killer he gets the electric chair but some miraculous way when he gets the electric chair the evil comes out of his body into the electricity and like the first person that touches the switch it hits them and it just sounds like the movie. movie touching people and everyone Whoa. that they touch it transfers through that sounds like the movie powder 
powder. Wasn't it about the super, super, super light school lights can do? Yeah, he got struck by lightning. Is that what it was? Yeah, and like I remember he'd walk by and all the locks would follow him. That's wild. That was a good movie. It's sad, dude. The huh? people, the kids were very mean to powder. I mean, that was a creepy fucking movie. I cannot watch Powder for at least the next six months. I don't. Well, I watched. Uh, I watched something. I've been watching something else lately. I've been watching, uh, The Watcher. On fucking. Oh, I was just talking about this show yesterday. Yeah. My mother in law. She Which, said it was slow and kind of. It, it was kind of slow, and I just it, 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 it didn't go nowhere. I'm pretty pissed about it, but I watched it. Nah. You know, I watched it. I'm also like I told you, I'm still doing Game of Thrones. I'm excited about that. And I'm not. I have really nothing to you know. What can I say? But hey, did you like the show Friends? My wife loves that show. That does not surprise me. She loved that show. That does not surprise I, I me. Was, I watch it here and there. Yeah. Do you think I thought it was like funny? Yeah, I do think it's funny. I never got. I never. You did I think friends? it's funny. You like friends? Scooch, you like friends? I always got like friends hoodies and shit. Really? Yeah, yeah. She loves friends. I never, uh, I never got into it. Miss WrestleMania. We were more of a, like a Will Smith people, like 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 fucking Martin. Uh, the old Candyman used to scare me. I think that I see the cool? new one. No, no, I haven't. The new Candyman is actually rather awesome. Oh, damn. I'm over here looking at myself. Totally forgot. Fucking drip check of the week. Time for me to get oh, jiggy. Yeah, yeah. You look, hey, by the way, that's what I was thinking about because I like that. Well, I like what you got on. Thank you. I got this brand new um, sweater from Chubby's, and I wish I had an endorsement from Chubby's. I tell them all the time, and I wear their gym stuff all, and I got these and a pair of joggers from Chubby's and another pair of workouts. Yeah, and we're slowly getting back to silk zick. Yeah, I'll be you know? Yeah, I'll be oh, look, you're like getting there. For a minute. This is getting like there. Winter. You get winter zick. They're like not winter. gray sweatpants anymore. He's still barefooted. We're still working on that. I'm in gray sweatpants. We're still working on that. We just see her at the studio, you know? But me. But me, of course. Where's that you know, lighter? Got this nice teddy bear hoodie. It's that Kama de Garçon. I know y'all not. I know y'all. Can you see that? Kama de Garçon. And I got this nice little teddy bear junk going on. These little slick all black jeans. I don't know if you can see. Ah, yeah, you can see them. That's pretty fucking flexible. These fucking cheetah print vans. I thought about you while I wore these today. You did. I did. I did. Cheetah print. I was like, Zicky's gonna fucking love these. I do you know. Love you know? Those are fire. I like your sweater a lot. That's great. Thank you. It's, it's very great. cozy. It does look cozy. I like cozy. I know. You know what? We kind of. Stay out. cozy, cozy boys. That's a thing, you know. Des has a New York uh, Yankee, a New York Yankee, a New York fucking Knicks hoodie on, a hoodie fucking jersey. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Real pie meds. Know. You guys got me going bonkers over here. And Scooch is dressed in what, what the... he fucking always is dressed in yeah, black. Yeah, we gotta go winter shopping. I need some new winter swag. I'm going. Uh, I'm packing chill for the weekend. I'm wearing this at Impact. I think on the sweater. I'll wear this on the television. I like it a lot. I want to wear. And then I'm gonna wear that Nike uh, peach tracksuit this weekend with those new shoes. I want to find. 1990s jogger fucking mountain snowboard fucking nylon outfit. Oh, I know the perfect spot. You know exactly what I'm talking oh, about? I know a few spots. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. I, that seems to be getting a good reaction around the room. I want to do fucking snow lodge 19 fucking, was it 84 maybe? When everything was super electric and shit like that and it was swishy and the matching headbands and earmuffs <laughs> and shit like that. I feel like you have a bunch of that already. Ooh, I do. I bet you do. That be, <laughs> I do need some earmuffs. Oh, yeah. That is that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that perfect fucking joint that I rolled you. Yeah, while well, my shit's over here looking like a Broke figure. Ooh. My shit's over here throwing up gang signs like this over here. Oh, what's happening to me, man? It's fucking nonsensical. It is nonsensical, but that's the point of the show to be nonsensical with a little bit of sense. I'm trying to find someone in the Las Vegas area to give me a haircut before the tapings. I'm not able to get in and see my barber said before I go, but I need to get these Z's lined back up in the head before yeah. the television. Oh, yeah. Shout so, out to my barber. I didn't trim up the beard, though, but I'll, I'll hopefully Chris Bay or Kenny King knows someone in Las Vegas that they can shout refer out, me to. Shout out to my barber, Tarek. My barber is the fucking man. I could do, he could do no wrong. My barber can move to fucking bring Guatemala, our barber to the show and I would move to Guatemala just to be with him, okay? okay I, we should bring our barbers sometime. In I would love to bring my barber. My barber's the greatest human that's ever lived. He's can we do that? We, yeah, we should friend. reach out to them. He's like an uncle to my kids. He's an uncle to me. You know, he's fucking greatest. He's like fucking Mozart with clippers. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, shit. Tell me you heard about that shit with the Van Gogh paintings. No. Bro. What happened? Yo. Okay. Scooch is going to have to hook me up if I'm wrong, but I'm going to give you the loose version of what Carly took in. A bunch of fucking nerds. Fucking, I'll say... I'll say, uh, I don't know what their big deal was, okay? Climate control. Climate controlled people, right? So, you know, apparently climate control is some real serious shit, which I agree with. You know, stuff is happening. Things are melting, polar ice caps and stuff. But these climate control dudes, fucking dweebs, went to a fucking museum with, let's say, pasta or SpaghettiOs or Chef Boyardee, tomato sauce or some shit, and threw tomato soup, bro, and threw the tomato soup on a bunch of fucking Van Gogh oh, paintings, real life Van Gogh paintings, and that is not the fucking 
80 million dollar paintings but guess what that's not the goose's bill you know what the goose's <laughs> bill dude tell you me the know the, yo, bill. you want to know the best part about this fucking story I write that down Someone these dweebs the bill. glued themselves to the fucking wall bro <laughs> where was this i don't know man where was it London. London. Fuck, of course it was. Of course, the, the queen, the queen takes a bow. Damn, I'm over here thinking I'm having a rough day. And I ain't, I see. I, I, okay, I haven't lost my mind then. That's good to know. Absolutely not. A couple weeks, yo, a couple wow. weeks ago, some yeah. people were doing some shit to the beef. Do you remember that? What the hell? You remember they were doing, what were they uh, doing to the, the beef? Movie, uh, they, they were doing, they were walking up in, su- oh, they were walking up in fucking supermarkets <laughs> and putting fucking flowers on the fucking beef <laughs> and having fucking funeral partitions and fucking in the fucking meat department talking about you know this is for my long lost cow my, you know my nigga big beef what you know the what hell? So, yo what where was this this was this was here, here? this was here this was like and what happened Wisconsin with, and what happened with the milk bro don't even get me you know they hate milk people bro. are just dumping milk in the dairy which here's my thing here's my thing what if you're hell? gonna be a freaking if you're gonna be a vegan gangster cool <laughs> right if you're gonna really hold down the yeah. vegan stuff and you're like i don't want to mess with beef that's cool but like with the supermarkets you're way too late you know go to the freaking farms what whoa there's people they lick, they lick ice some cream. chick went to jail people, for that people like ice cream you remember that the dead some chick would walk she i would love to like have a sample like a scratch no 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 no, like, no no she walked in the uh, in the fucking joint they walk in it was, it was a challenge they walk in the fucking supermarket they pop the lid off they look at the camera and they just they, lick they, and they lick the shit and then they put the top back on and they put it back in the fucking yeah, freezer. that's so gross that's disgusting and they did this like since covid's been around right i think that's why they got locked up that's so you know? gross Completely idiotic, you kids and your stupid trends. You know, I don't, I don't really, I don't really get it these days. Maybe I'm getting old. We didn't, right, right, right. I feel like I'm not that point. Get off my lawn. Like I used, you remember that? Like, oh yeah. We used to throw eggs at people. You know, you wasn't walking into somebody's fucking supermarket and fucking up their ice cream. Like what? You should get slapped in the mouth for that. And you're like, yeah. especially if you're like 17. Go get, get a job. Go do something. Yes. I don't know. We threw eggs. We threw eggs. We We did eggs. We used to do water cups. Oh, dude. dude, I used to. We used to have like water buckets and drive down the street and throw. We used to saran wrap a car before. Saran wrap the car. Dog poop under the door handle. Yeah, listen. Saran wrap in the car is brilliant. Oh, fucking. But taking taking a taking a a shit in a bag and putting it in front of their fucking door and then setting it on fire and ringing the doorbell. We do drive bys with water balloons out front of bars with two cars, so people outside smoking or whatever. Where you'd hit them with water balloons and they're like, "Yo, what the fuck?" We used to that second car right behind. Super wow, soakers, water balloons, super like, soakers, and paint and water, so it like it gets you and it stains. We were uh, terrifying. You know, you know what I'm saying? So you're riding down and you're skirt. You know, it was pretty. Uh, you know, spinning the block on people. We did stuff like that. And you know what? You know, I can see how that would piss somebody off. But like, you lick my fucking ice cream. You lick my fucking fudge yeah, brownie. I don't want to buy no. We're gonna have a problem. Cream. Well, I don't want to buy no no ice cream. You just asked me to lick your paper, bro. What's the what's yeah the yeah? That's fine. We're burning it. Oh okay yeah yeah we're burning it. I mean, burning you melt it. the ice cream. No, no, no. I don't really care. I'll share ice cream with mm-hmm. you all. Uh huh. So me. Well, I remember one time we did do the. Uh, we drove through a drive-through and you grab the ice cream and leave the cone in the lady's hand. You know, I just seen a drive-through liquor store. Yeah, I've been to one of those with uh, go-go dancers once in Texas. What? And some guy came up to us uh, and he had a needle behind his ear. That's like not safe. And he's like, "Are you taking pictures?" And I said, "Oh no." <laughs> yeah, I know. What do we? He'd have put you to sleep, and you'd have woke up and think you're okay. Guantanamo Bay somewhere, kid, okay. somewhere, brother. You'd have woke up somewhere nutty. I definitely was not taking pictures of the drive-through. Hey, COVID who the heck is, the bar. is 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 shouting us out so much in these chats? Who's that guy? You're- All the lovely people here that yeah, join us yeah. live on Twitch. And yeah. you know what? I've got I gotta finish packing. I've got a long weekend ahead. Week, you know? whole week. Oh, yeah, we're almost. We're, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna be a fun couple weeks. Actually, no, what do you got no, coming no. up? We got Halloween, and we still don't know what we're dressing up as. We could be SpongeBob and Patrick. You know, we could yeah, be Ninja right. Turtles. Yep. We could be Batman and Superman. We can go real cosplay and get some like. Hey, Zicky's into. Oh, we better do that. That's like two weeks. Hey guys, ago. I'm That's on a mission. I'm on a mission. Zicky tells me that he's nasty at Overwatch. Right? If you're nasty at Overwatch. Holla at me. I haven't been playing. He hasn't been playing, but I, I want to see. Playing, but I will. And I, I'm not able to play this week. I'm going to try and do some, like, in real life streams. Oh, shit. Because I am um, I'm on the road, man. You are. I need to get, like, a gaming laptop, man. You're a road man. Or something. You're a road man. Yeah. See, yeah, we're you're living the dream, brother. You're living the dream? I guess so. Diet younger me would be drinking. proud. Huh? Younger me would be proud. And a lot of people, like, 
here, I'll drop some knowledge to some younger wrestlers. Prepare yourselves because Ooh. the road is very, very tough. Arduous. Arduous. You know, and having a family and stuff like I was gone all weekend, got a puppy here, and then I leave all week and off to make television, another flight. I got to be at the airport as I was home for one full day today, got home late last night, mm -hmm. one full flight, mm -hmm. gone, come back, and you know, do it all over again. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's very exhausting just to let you all know. And I say like, they don't pay me to wrestle. You're paying me all the travel because the travel is fucking exhausting. Yeah, I took a gamble yesterday and then just to hope to get an early flight. I was supposed to come in at midnight and I got on standby and thank you Delta and my platinum. That's pretty dope. Membership. Actually my, I don't, I don't fly enough. I do a lot of driving and you're absolutely right about that. To be honest with you, they it's don't, awesome, man. you don't got to pay me to wrestle. I love wrestling. You yeah. got to pay me to travel, but then they leave the family, do all the other stuff. You know, I definitely feel you. I have two, I'm tired. Three, two of them live here. One of them live elsewhere. And it's a lot. Dude. Yeah, it's Always a lot. being on the road and stuff like that. It's definitely, but we yeah. haven't served our purpose yet. We're, we're walking I, I mean, through this, our purpose. This is part of it. We're living the purpose. And that's what I got to remind myself. Like, younger me would be so hyped at the shit that we're doing. So let's go and get it done. Oh, yeah. I've got shit I want to do at Impact. There's shit I want to do in wrestling. There's yep. shit I want to do in entertainment. And there's shit I want to do in life. Shit we want to do as in a life. whole. We're going to fucking whole. win. We, we big are. winners over here. We are. Everyone big is. Dubs. Everyone is. We're going to do this. And, and you know what? Is y'all is my witness. And I'm doing this for myself. Watch. Why? Watch. Now, that's how that's how you have to do it. You gotta do it for you. You know, I heard this great I heard this this would be a song back in the day, bro. It was a huge, huge song. It was like a, a fucking cultural phenomenon. And it, it was written by a fucking prophet. You know what I'm saying? And and he said the opening words of the song was, I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. And it was a little guitar riff. And he was like, To chase them is my real test, and and to change them is my cause, some stupid shit. But then he said, I will travel across the land. Land, searching far and wide to fucking well he said something else but then i took it as to fucking win and understand the power that's inside and then they went from there and talked about some other shit but you know yeah it was fucking that's how i feel you know what what do you what's 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 what's, Yo, what's so funny have you ever yeah, heard that no i somewhere somewhere sometime i thought this it, it was fucking it, what the hell it was massive it was massive it was written by legends about. you know it was written by fucking legends you understand so i'm just, that's how i want you to feel man you gotta fucking yeah I hope you gotta so. you gotta you gotta, you gotta go trying. out there there's a bunch of wins there's a bunch of wins out there and you gotta catch them all day at a time brother i gotta be at the airport it's five i gotta set my alarm i don't even know my phone's over there fucking I win o'clock that's the time my alarm i gotta be in early Irvine tomorrow. Mm. I got. I got to wrestle tomorrow. Mm. Gangrel. I got to get to bed. I got to finish packing. I have a. I have a letter to write. I got to write a letter. Man. Yes. Yes. After, I was watching something about letters. You know what my favorite letter is? Last night I wrote a letter and it went this way. Baby, I love you. Just thinking of you. Love always. You know who sings that? I've never heard that before. That's Casey and JoJo. Yeah. Last night, I wrote a short letter, and it went this way. Look it up. I, I heard it. I know last night was way different. My song goes, last night, while making love to you, I, I saw the sun, the moon, the mountains, and the heavens. It was, that was way different than the one you were singing. Yeah. Only Casey and JoJo song I know is All My Life, which is a classic. Yeah, that is a good and, and, and what's the other Casey? Tell me it's real. Yeah, yeah, I, those are bangers. Those are bangers, bangers. I can't listen to those for six months either. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you should listen to a lot of fucking... Nothing. Fucking, like, like just fucking... Just fucking motivational fucking I do. wind music. I, I, like, I, I, the I that I do, and then you no, know, another one bites the dust. Uh, yeah, yeah. We are the champions. <laughs> songs get me in my bag. You ever been in your bag? You gotta get in your bag and stay in your bag. I, I need to get out of my bag. No, you need to get in your bag. What? Yes. I think I need to get out of my bag. No, no, you're out of your bag. I feel you, no, I feel like I'm Yeah, yeah you're in, yeah, the, you're wrong in the wrong bag. bag. When I say get in your bag, you gotta get in your Let bag. Let me hit your bag. Huh? What? Your bag. Oh, get your in your bag. bag and stay in your bag. You gotta okay, get in my your bag. bag. Like, get in your bag. Like, okay, I'm ready you know to get in my freaking bag. Yes, yeah, you gotta get in your bag. And you gotta, and then like when you I'm get in your bag, in my bag. No, dude. you're out of your bag. Right I'm now. out of my bag. You're not you're in, your bag in right the now. bag. Yes, you and everybody else. Get in the fucking bag. You gotta get in your bag and stay in your bag. Get in the bag, bro. Get in the bag, bro. You gotta get in your bag. You know what's in your bag? Your fucking. You know what's in your bag, bro. You 
you are out of your bag. No, I'm in my bag, baby. I was talking to myself. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because I stay in my bag, baby. I'm in the fucking bag, I'm in a fucking too. sleeping bag. Baby. I'm trying. Oh, <laughs> I am in a big bag, baby. I've got a plastic bag around my throat. That's exactly. Yeah, you know what? That's not the, exactly. You're gasping for air right now. I need you in a big bag. Yo, I look. Yo, I, I'm, do you I, see this? I feel I like I'm in, huge. I'm in a colossal bag. Mm. Mm. That's nice. I'm a fucking. Mm. Let me put nice. this down real quick so we can. Wow, mm. well, you look fucking. like a, a strong teddy bear. <laughs> you do with the with the furry jacket and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, like a strong teddy bear. You know yeah. what? I'll take that, bro. That's hilarious. I feel like Teddy over here. <laughs> you know, I'm you a, need like the matching pants, you know? If I could, they'd be they'd be as tight as these pants right here. I don't know. I'm a tight pant wearer. My pants be tight as hell. Jack Carly Bravo. Well, was that Jack Carly Bravo? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Get well, I am back. sore. Let's wrap up this week's show I think, because I, I have to go unpack. I think it's fair. We hey, did guys. some content. We'll be back next week. We'll have some more shit to talk about, but please follow us online. Interact. We've got stuff online. I encourage you to share it. Okay? Yeah. Join the yeah. Patreon if you want to see some behind-the-scenes content. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can follow us individually. Did you guys have fun? I had, I had a great time. Did you have fun, Scoot? Did you have fun today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today was good. We had a good, good day. Unwind, but I've got to, you know, I got to do a few things and then uh and yeah we'll get get ready for the road tomorrow well taste buds we appreciate you as you absolutely know bad news and tattoos outlander sticky dice love you all very much this has been bad taste we'll see you next week monday 7 p.m eastern right here sayonara sucker